knew that I'd be down for the fall if it happened. So much unspoken. Howdy do YouTube fam and welcome to another episode of Live, Love and Learn with the PKs. Guys, and we want first of all to welcome all our new members in the house Karibuni sana guys Karibuni sana And as Welcome. always we do a chorus for you Welcome na wakinya wa PK Sit down me Yes, Karibuni sana Take a seat, Ebu Asha, our Nisha Konyamutaketi, just take your seats. I love and also, when chai in my tent. <laughs> chai, actually, I'm going to chai. Yeah. Uh, when you're in the local, the OGs, when you're in the, the local, the OGs, while you're in chai tafadhali, yeah. and also the OGs, and uh, the guys who come back here time and again. Asanteni sana for always, always supporting our channel and yeah. sharing our content and watching our content, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, Santeni Sana. Thank you so much. And if Santeni you have Sana. not subscribed, kindly, 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 just click consider. the button Please that consider. says sub subscribe. Consider subscribing, guys. Please continue to support us. Msi choke na sisi. Keep subscribing. Keep liking our videos and commenting so that we can interact in the comment section. Yeah. And also letting more people know about us. That kuna watu wanaitwa the PK na wana creating the content. And we live, love, and learn here in this community. That's what we do. In this family, actually. Yeah, in yes. this family. In this family, so, that's what we do. Yeah, share the love. And subscribing, by the way, is free. Very, very free. Uh, and also, confirm you've subscribed. Na kujua kuna mtu wana jiambianga, ame subscribe. Kama mi juzi nilienda kuangalia. I was watching a video. And I found out that she has subscribed this whole time. And I felt so bad. So kindly, just take two minutes. Or even one second. In fact, two seconds. To confirm whether you have actually subscribed uh that correct thing that says subscribe should now say subscribed and it should be in gray okay subscribe so just go ahead and bonye zako thank you so much yes guys that's yeah. it and uh today's video is basically just another sit down we have we have not done a sit down in a while because we've been doing live Unajua, when we say the channel is about to live love and learn it includes those birthdays you're seeing there, but they are babe, but they are Miguel, you know, anything else that's happening in our lives, you're gonna see it here because it's part of live. Yeah, when we say live, love, and learn. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is part now of the sit down where we actually get learn. to learn something. Yeah. Even on the but not actually, you also learn. Yeah, not actually but, only learning from us. Mm. We also learn from you guys. On, on the yes. comments, when you tell us yes. this, that we yeah. take so many of those uh, pointers and times, sometimes put them to use. Mm. Uh, a while back, uh, we were just discussing here, me and Beb, and she mentioned about uh, anxiety and got us thinking, uh, what about anxiety? And, and, and before it was long, I think that's when we had the lockdown, didn't you? Yeah, when we had the lockdown, um, and everyone was panicking, including myself, because I'm seeing it's almost Miguel's birthday, we had planned for another grand birthday for the guy, but it did not happen. Remember the first, when I was telling you on my Insta stories, uh, the first birthday of Miguel, still the same, same thing happened. Yeah. There was a lockdown. And so I was feeling frustrated, I was feeling anxious because of also our business and other businesses we are starting and everything else. It was just crazy, you know. And then I, um, I asked people on my question post, like, um, I asked them, what, how has this affected you? How has the lockdown affected you, this second uh, lockdown? And then at the same time, there was so much happening. There was a... Uh, a lot happening in the country, just death, people are dying left, right and center and other stories that, you know, are so disgusting to the ears and it was just, I was just feeling a lot of pressure and most of you shared the same sentiments. I realized that most of you were, were going through the same anxiety, confusion, lack of peace and even depression at some point because now there are some people who now lost their jobs once again. Watcha ile sasa ya kwanza, you, you lost, maybe you were called back and then now you, are, you lost it once again. So I can only imagine all that weight. And so when I went through the post, uh, I just said, let me pray. Let me pray for everyone who's going through something because there was so much on, on that post. There was so much manze ya dinika sahau mashida zangu. And then, uh, you know, that is why we are doing this topic today for anxiety. Now to a larger crowd. And, you know, God just started revealing to me what kind of a God he is, you know, and how we are supposed to deal with those kinds, those times of anxiety. Remember, God is still God. He still knows it is, it is happening, okay? It has not caught him by surprise. 
and all he wants is for you to just draw close to him and just actually uh, dive right into God's word. And by that, the anxiety and also the depression and lack of, of peace is not going to be your portion. And I said, let why don't we talk about anxiety? Because I know there are some businesses that have gone now to square one. There are some people who've lost jobs again. There's so much going on. So much is going on. Uh, there are some industries that are affect, very much affected even with this uh, second lockdown and this uh, third wave of corona as well because of health and you know either wave in Asemekana it's the it's worse than the first one you know all those things I can understand can um, reach to a point where you you feel like you do you you cannot handle them mm. uh, so what do you have yeah. to say about no that? basically the same thing of, of people. <laughs> Uh, you know, losing employment, your Beshara is being shut down because nothing mm -hmm. is happening. Or to Engine, their business boom in the evening from 6 through yes, to 9. Yes, yes. So those people now, are, uh, to a greater extent, are affected. Mm -hmm. And these people are people who have families who depend on them. They are people who are losing employment, who have families that they are feeding. Mm -hmm. And then you go at, at a point when, when they're you're asking yourself, now what next? Mm -hmm. Because maybe your company may come because anyway, you cannot see the company if there's no work. Mm. So sometimes the, the, your employers don't just do it maliciously, it's because of the situation and circumstances. Yes. So na jipata, hamna kazi. Mm. Na, uh, you, you, there's not much you can do, let's say. Let, yeah. Let's just say that. So the whole idea of this, because Biba may, I may touch on most of the areas and there are mm. other, other, other big areas. After that, let us, uh, let's try and enumerate at least a few, I, a few ways you can, move to, you can deal with anxiety. How you can, how you can deal with anxiety. Mm. At least how, how we know. But also From you can share knowledge. with us, you can yes. share with us what you think on the is the best section. to do this. Yes. yes. You can add to what we have uh, to say. Yes. Alright, so number one guys is, uh, I'd advise you, um, uh, for believers and also non-believers, you need to start seeking God in truth and in spirit because with seeking God, He's going to shut up those all those voices of uh, confusion mm. because God is not a God of confusion. Number one, at you for confused to answer, wapi, yeah, yeah, yeah. and with that comes a lot of uh, worry and fear. And remember, also, fear does not come from God. So, number one, you need to be at peace, and the only way you can be at peace is diving right into the word of God, is seeking God, is getting close to God and telling him, now mimi niko kwa situation. Now you're the one when Dr. Nigaid uni unioneshe what else to do, what next to do. And also listening um listening for God's direction is really really important. Especially maybe if you are in a business na you know it has shut down or it's being affected by all this that is going on or yeah. if you are uh, working and you have lost your job, you need to ask for God's direction. Just like what we were saying uh, in our job loss video. And if you've not watched that video, go and watch it. Because also, you know, it has some pointers as well. Mm. So yeah, so I really, really recommend. And that is what I did. That is what God uh, spoke to me and revealed to me, for me, the place I was at. Is that the moment you drift away from God, Kidogo, the enemy, you give the enemy a space to get in and to start. And the enemy is usually very loud. Eh? He's usually very, very loud. He's going to tell you, oh, on a sasa, kumefungwa, what will you do with your business? You are in a travel and in any company. What will you do? You know, the, the, the enemy is so loud. But there is always God always there to direct you. And he's yeah. just sitting there. So the moment you drop uh, uh, away from him, you are going to allow fear. You're going to allow confusion. You're going to allow anxiety because those are not that is not the character of God. And remember, all these things that happen, He's aware. Hajatoka kwa kiti yake ati for for a second ako like aya oh mambo zimekuja kumekuwa na third wave sijui kumekuwa sijui na lockdown na nini. He is aware of everything that is happening. As a matter of fact, He knows it. He does not catch him by surprise. That's so true. when you choose to walk with God, he's going to show you the direction. Kwani God akwa anajua ati nini kukikuwa na lockdown ama kukikuwa na whatever it is that's going on, how to foot a job. He does, but he has a greater plan for you and it is all in his word. That is how you know the best will of God is to dive right into his word and listen to him for direction. That way, you're going to be able to trust him and know that whatever situation that happens, 
he's got you yeah he's got you so god is the number one thing that has kept kept us uh sane thus far since the first uh, wave of corona because we were really affected up to now it is just god just trusting god and moving forward and trusting that god whatever happens uh, you don't want anything bad for me. You just want the best. So how do you know that best that God has for you? Is drawing close to him, is listening to, to his direction, and also diving right into his word. Yeah. 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 So guys, before I continue, I think I've said, either in one of our videos or on my stories, I have said time and again, the Bible some acts, uh, says that uh, in everything, give thanks. Yes, the Bible exactly. Does not, does yeah, not, does I love not, that. The Bible does not... Uh, Specifically, that when things are good, yes, give thanks. The Bible says that in everything, in every situation, things. in every circumstance, give, give thanks. thanks. Yes, and and it goes ahead. I think those are the letters of, of Paul mm. when he's writing to, to the different churches, uh, uh, the Corinth, the Thessalonians, and everybody else. Mm. He talks about how how we we are supposed to be solely dependent on God, mm. and that sometimes it might not look like it, mm. but guess what? Through that, God is working something in you. Yes. You know, you know, losing an, uh, uh, your income as the only stream of income is not something easy, and and it's not the God. The God that has punished. God is trying to work something in you mm -hmm. for the next uh, phase that He has yeah. of your life. It's building whether it's perseverance, whether it's yes. whether it's, it's, it's patience, whatever mm -hmm. it is, God works in different ways. God has not come at human. We like talk at akikosea na mambia. Not corner for 10 minutes. No, mm. God will not really go to not corner. God will do what he has to do mm. to make you ready for what he wants you to, where he is taking you or what he's about to bring your way. Yes. So basically, you have to be elaborate. Yes, yeah. I may elaborate. I may some of that. Mm. I just felt that I needed to point out that the fact that yeah. the Bible is very clear. It speaks loudly at that point. Yeah. In everything. So in remember, everything. it's Corona. Not some things. No, it's Corona, third wave. Mm. We might be talking about numbers are skyrocketing, no ICU beds, but guess what? We are supposed to give thanks in everything. In every in situation. Everything. Yeah. In every situation, in yeah. every circumstance. And also to add on to that, babe, to that point of giving thanks, imagine, guys, there's someone who's struggling to fight for their... There's no even ox, enough oxygen, as I'm hearing, and ICU beds, but they're struggling somewhere. They do not have the air to breathe. They do not have even family. They do not have someone to... To take care of them but you are there you are eating you have a roof under your head i know maybe you, you probably don't know how to pay for your next rent but can we focus on now because the bible says worry is not going to add you a single single second into your life so right now give thanks for that food you're having whatever food it is give thanks for life life too in itself guys you know this that wave how it what it has done just give thanks for life in itself Give thanks. Give thanks for your health, yeah? At least give thanks for whatever you have, for your family, for your children. Give thanks. Before you start complaining at you, oh, this has happened. Yes, first of all, give thanks. And God is going to bless you. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just now mm -hmm. uh, look at some practical ways. Maybe practical you ways. To, yeah. to uh, you know, elevate this. And, and, but also not just uh, at you. Mm -hmm. Seek God in it. See God in it, and and mm. and sometimes we 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 don't uh, solely like depend on God, because the Bible says that do not worry about tomorrow. Yes. It's about this. So long as we have food for today, mm. then we're okay. Thanks. But most of us, like we know, so easy. We have we we shopped for a whole month. We have mm. stocked up food in the fridge. But you know, we want to get to the point where our faith is in a, to an extent that I know. Yeah. Yes. But I know God will provide tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And the people who are living living it that way. And, yes. and and God is working uh, and, and doing wonders in their lives. Yes. So we also want to encourage one another in this journey because at least in the Pekea too, you also cannot walk alone. So mm. we encourage one another because we are family and, and, and we endeavor for one another to be better. Because if you're better and then we are, we are at, at, a, at a better place because I can come and tell you, hey, Nani, see you, Unisot, Appa, Evie, Evie, or just try and help me out here. See? So, uh, without dwelling much into that, I wanted to point out some uh, few ways probably you can, that are practical. Like I was saying, Kuna Otaizi work on more than one stream of income. And I want to, when I mean B, I say income, whether it's in business or otherwise, there are so many ways. And especially now that we engage this age of uh, the digital space. Yeah. 
Kuzi biashara ni mingi. Just just know what you can do. You can even start yeah. if you are good chapati maker. Just yeah. make chapatis within your mm. in your house. Then yeah. start kwaiji uh, tuambie na uzanga chapu. Yeah. What are you good at? Now that there is uh, you can't move around uh, a lot. Just focus on yourself. What is that thing that God has put in you that you can do that can actually earn you a coin or two? It goes back to yes. uh, the Bible Mali. You know, the story of the poor are given gifts. Moja mm. poor, moja talents. Mm. They are called, actually, yes. the Bible calls them talents. Yes. So you, you, you as an individual, you have a talent. There's something yeah. you're good at. Yes. So that which you're good at, mm. now make use of that. Make use of that. We might not be able to tell you, point out, ni mesema chapatis because probably it's easy for me to yeah, say that. An and example. I see a couple of people doing it and uh, giving them rent and food. Mm. So what you're good at, just make use of that. Yes. There's digital space, ikosawa, yeah. put out there, you'll get a customer. Yeah. You just have to be consistent and just to have to be patient because yeah, patient. you do not make your parties a thousand today and tomorrow sell out all of them yeah, it patient. starts pole pole a lot of patience. that's one way others others or, or, are here in nairobi to make nairobi na tumesema tumekatalia huku tunaongea january tarehe 5 after new year mm. na tarudi ushago 24th mm. before now christmas for mm. that one week back in new year mm. those this some people here have tracts of land mm. in in Ushuko up country, mm. guys. That those places actually up country, you wanna feed Nairobi. If you go to any of these highways on a on a on a daily, mm. you will see trucks that you Nairobi marikiti kuleta food. Mm. We don't grow food in what is grown in this is Nangasiwa like food. They can't even feed feed an eighth of uh, an estate kama nini. Kayole and everywhere else. They cannot. And food in these times where there's lockdown, there's some things that people will not stop using. Like food, people will keep feed, eating food. Food is yeah. uh, it's not something that so people will always eat. Just an example. Yeah. People will always eat. Mm. Not whether it is lockdown or not. Yeah. People will always. People eat. will always. So eat. these are just a few things. Kuna yeah. Ming, you also and like we're saying, share mm. with us up our comments and tell us mm. also other ways that you think are also uh, helpful that somebody can raise money. Uh, no, or start a small biashara that you not at it. Mm. When you cook up a three hundred thousand, you invest. Mm. If you have a thousand shillings, go to the Gikomba, mm. buy tops that are 30 bob, 40 bob, mm. wash them nicely, iron them, sell mm. 100 bob. See? Well, yeah, there's, so many, cool now, there's so many opportunities. And especially right now that people are starting to embrace online like Beba yes, said. Because yes, yes. there is uh, the time, the whole time in the world, you know, to, to you know, Kuingia online. This, yeah. is a, uh, opportunity. this is just an example. But also as Beb has said, let me insist seek god's direction know that seek god's direction because if you don't mm. go in the direction that god wants you to go you have to ask you'll god hit for, a rock bottom somewhere yes for his plan and your plan to align that mm. way you're going to have the favor you're going to get your customers and uh, stuff like that yeah that, that's why when we pray mm. we pray that even the lord's prayer it is let your will be done yes when we pray we say not our will uh, we but say his will it's not our purpose but his purpose over our lives, yes. not our. Sometimes you confess and say, my purpose is to this, to do this. Mm. That's your purpose. Mm. What is God's purpose? If those mm. two are not aligned, mm. then it means that we are in the east, we are in the west. Yes. And so for na, if God's plan is in the east, mm. now in the west, no matter how far you go, you will mm. still have to come back to this plan. Mm. So to make uh, life easy, just mm. God. Yeah. And ask God, what mm. do you want me to do? Is it is are you in this? Yes. No, no. Yeah. Or show me. You know, we forget. Mm. The God who used to do miracles or give signs and wonders back in times of like Jacob, back like in Amesha, and who have you? It's still the same is, God. That that's still that same God is still mm. here today. Mm. Regarding uh, uh what you want to do, whether it's Beashara, selling clothes or whatever it is. Uh find it in your like me or like us, if it's a biashara, sometimes you can say, God, if it is your plan, let everything just equal smooth. I go and find them without at having to struggle. three weeks and I go and boom, it come easy. So those are just a few ways of how you can, uh, you know, improve your your life and just not just, not just depend on at one scheme of it because you're employed. Those mm. are ways you can be able to also find, you know, make bread or bring food at home. So just a few things. Also, share with us. 
your thoughts and uh, what you'd like us also to see or somebody who is here on these comments would also see it and also take it and run it with run with it mm. let's encourage one another as well also yeah another thing uh, guys is you have to be open-minded yes uh, everything is stopping and whatever but you have to be open-minded uh, you now have to get out of your comfort zone as i always say uh, success is not comfortable so you will need to get out of your comfort zone usidani atijuwewe ulikuwa msewa corporate 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 now you are now looking Joakali for your is here not yeah you, you are looking now for for work kwa corporate uwezi fanya kitu kingine blue collar ni blue collar because umetoka yeah. white collar yeah. when him say white collar imagine be open minded it is what it is move with the times how they are moving you know yeah songa na time venye ina songa and also network uh, talk to your friends what vitu kama hizo if there is jobs kitu kitu kama hiyo hizo usikae kwa nyumba uanguke kwa matope ushinde ukililia watu oh hii happen hii happen hii happen you have to move you have to keep wake going up. Um, you have to wake up and dust go. yourself off mm. move on so another thing is uh, guys uh, there's so many cases of depression and of mental health and just making sure that your mental state is okay and i hear when someone is getting in depression hata ujuangi so mm -hmm. if you find yourself always worrying, always you're anxious and you know all those things you need to talk to somebody. Just talk to somebody, someone is, who is going to listen to you and probably not even help you, but when you pour out whatever it is that you're carrying in your heart to someone, they will be able to listen and you're going to feel uh, lighter. The load is going to be lighter. So keep talking to people that you trust, people that have the same values as you. Siende kwa mtu anaku advise ufanye mambo mbaya mbaya. Same, the person, someone who has the same values as you, just talk to them, you know, talk to them and release whatever it is that you're feeling in your heart because there's so much going on. There's also, it's not only job loss, there's also those people who have lost people during this third wave. Now, you may put it in the but we don't want to dwell on that. Talk to someone because grief is now another whole topic. Uh, dealing with this grief, and you know kitu kama covid imekuja imekubebea tu mtu tu hivyo yani okay death is death and everyone is you know affected when 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 a friend or a family member dies but uh, i can imagine if someone is because of covid so talk to somebody do not let depression kill you aki don't let depression kill you do, make sure that your mental uh, state of mind is in check the only way by to keep your mental check uh, health in check mm. is by you do if you unasikia kuna kitu nda kuongea with somebody okay, or, or you feel like something uh, it's a load mm. talk it out to somebody that's why yeah. it's important in this day and age to have mm. friends not yeah. just not just at at friends by name mm. real friends people who like randomly just decide that we want to jamskia siku mingi how are you so that is somebody you can talk to muongea umwambie hey, nasikia hivi na feel hivi because mm. that way you able to offload that which is ni kama tu a computers will they work if you have a virus, mm. you clean it up, then yes. it goes back to normal functioning. Mm. If you have a virus, so that kind of thing, whatever is this in mm. is 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 foreign. I don't want to use virus because mm. virus bacteria, but it's something foreign. So talk mm. talk 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 about it with somebody who is close to you, yeah. who you know is somebody who will give you a takweka. Seem to daongea kwa mbiye, then you kubaya mbili, then ada kusaidia because you wake up tomorrow with a hangover and a headache, mm. and once you're back to the reality. What you are dealing with in a room become a too flat now or worse because mm -hmm. you don't dealt with it. So you don't talk to somebody who you who are to encourage mm -hmm. or uh, for believers who will pray with you yes, and, and, and also keep checking and telling you it's not the end of life, it has continued. An accountability for, partner. Yeah, for yeah. Loss, uh, people who have lost very close friends or family members, loss is, is individual and there's no way we, we can normalize that and say mm. that it's okay. Mm. It's, it's only God who, uh, who comforts us and who Everyone carries us through. Different, yeah, yeah, who carries us through that period. Mm. Because uh, saying it's okay does not help. Mm. Saying it's it, God's plan, it, it it is, but it does not help the situation. Yeah, so that 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 that, that, that point, what all you need to do is pray mm. and and pray for them like mm. genuinely, and then God will give them the peace that they need yes. because. Ultimately, God is, is is our source in everything. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't matter what it is, job loss, loss of family members or anything else, but mm. God will always be there and mm. present. A present help in our times of need. Yeah.
Yes. So now let me add this one that has just come as we were talking about the mental health because mental uh, health is something that has been affecting me even our young. Unapata at year 17 year old committed suicide or is into depression and uh, I cannot help and bring the topic of social media in this uh, it's, really, it's not the only source of mental health, don't get me wrong, but social media is a place that has contributed to people not being in a uh, in a sober state of uh, their mental health. Why? Because you find in this uh, age of social media, there's a lot of comparison, wanting to be like kinanani, wanting to do like kinanani, you want what you want, and you forget that... Um, they are, they are chapter they are chapter 20 i, I heard this from somewhere they are, they are do not compare your chapter 1 with someone else's chapter 20 hmm? can true. i repeat that that's do true. not compare your chapter 1 with someone else's chapter 20 and mm -hmm. i know that social media has given us uh, you know there's so much going on mm -hmm. and you 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 might tend to compare or or want success as fast as sijui who you and and sijui who can we just move with our pace? Yeah? Can we just be patient no, no, enough? No, actually, babe, it's not mm. about our pace. It's God's pace. Yeah, with yeah. with God's the, the pace that God is taking you. Yeah. You allow God to work on you. Usi harakishe God. Don't God wants you to move this way and you you are running to that 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 step of Sijui who you want to fikia someone. Just move with God's pace, yeah? When God takes you through one step to another to another, watch an Be happy for them by the way. Be very happy for them and support them. But do not compare yourself. That is something else that is leading to anxiety and easy mambozote lack of peace. Because you're you're sleeping and waking up and wanting to be like this person. You do not know what they have gone through to be where they are at, at that point. You do not know um, uh, what things that they, God has taken them through to be able to that point. You don't even know that point where they are at, what difficulties or what challenges they are going through. That God has trained them when they started them at chapter one. So just be be content with where we are yeah that is the name i was looking for be content and stop comparing yourself and i know that you know the social media is all over and we are free to access it and you are you know there is things going on and you want to be like them be inspired do not compare yourself and uh, be content where you are at even you as you work hard to reach at that uh position where you know probably you want to get be inspired so yeah that I think will be the meaning point. And by that, by the way, you're going to find that you're going to be at so much peace with where you are at at that point, with where God wants you to be at that point. Even as you pray to him and trust him that he's going to get you to the place where you want to be. Because all of us are not where we want to be. We are aspiring to be somewhere. Uh, mm. Mm. But you have to bring in God and just walk with him how you want him to, to, you know, to guide you. Mm. It's, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's it's good that those things come up because see, you know we are now digital parents who yeah. are dealing with kids who are going into a more yeah. digital space than we even mm -hmm. it is and you're very happy taking that ugali and githeri but now when you can check on social media, sijui nani ya mekula kuku, sijui samaki za sawe unataka, unanza kupressure your parents, unanza ku get into a place where you're not even at peace, yeah. eating that githeri and ugali, mm. you know. So that's it guys, so just a few things of mm. what probably we, we, we think that has helped us through mm. uh, sometimes that have been difficult mm. or what we've learned because also God has carried this, God has held us uh, intact this mm. far. So those are just a few things, a few pointers. A few but pointers. like to share with us your pointers or or your what you think about this whole situation, yeah. how you've been able to go through a period that has been difficult. Yes. Right. Not only this COVID period, mm. even other pit, uh, seasons. Probably yeah, other it could be you you also had a season in your life that was hard, how you mm. dealt with it. Mm. So just share with us about that and then yeah. uh, and so we can learn somebody from here each also other. we learn we learn from you. Yes. The people who are here and uh, our subscribers also can learn from that. We are all growing one another. Mm. And and I we are not superior. And I love when I when, when I when I'm sometimes we are out and about and we meet some of, of you mm. out whether it's in a matatu or we're in our daily errands, we meet Uko. Because mm. that's who we are. We're just 
uh, we are all one because in, in God's eyes we are all equal mm. so there's no point of me feeling that I am superior to everybody else I'm mm. not mm. I'm not so I'm just like kill a mtu kawaida so yeah with that being said rukoeni mnasema hai unajua na patanga sometimes mtu ameni dm akala nilikuona nilikuona alafu nikaamba kwa why just say hi you guys are the ones who have you know supported us this far that's true so say hi when we meet and you know you talk to us yeah we are open dm us Yeah, very open. Yeah, but so, most most importantly, say hi when you see us on the road. Yeah, yes, say hi. Yeah, 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 that's 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 more, it's quite encouraging, and yes. you you know you get to see we are not the people who we are interacting with. We just see we are here behind the cameras talking. Mm-hmm. At ujui ni kina ani yao na receive info, mm-hmm. but when we meet you, we get so happy. Yeah. Mm. So guys, that's it from that's us it. this video. I hope you have learned something. We hope so too. Yeah, and also share what you know and mm. maybe what you've learned mm. or something else that you know that we have not addressed. Yes, so, and we and we, we pray to God that yeah. above us speaking that God is going to use whatever means to speak mm. to you or to encourage you mm. or to uplift you wherever mm. you are. Mm. So, mm. so that's why we, we pray that God is going to be, be the lead in all this yes we are just vessels being used and yes. i starting to be used of god mm. but he is the person who knows your destiny mm. and he knows the purpose he has over your life mm. that's it guys so uh, we end it at this point and see, see you in the, in the next, next episode, episode of, of live, live love and learn with, with the pks, PKs. bye, bye.